So I'm on my third month transitioning into barefoot shoes and I think the Lem's Chilka canvas has helped me a lot. And at the end of this video, you'll find out why. So I won't bore you with all of the minute details that could be for a future video, but basically like many others, I have pretty wide feet and especially towards the end of my feet, my little toe, that's always been a source of pain for me. And historically, I've always just sized up. So I think my natural foot size is actually a US 9.5 to US 10, but for Nike shoes or for Converse, I've always worn US 11s. And I just thought that that's the way that life would be for the rest of my life until I fell down a rabbit hole a few months ago and started getting to barefoot shoes. Now there are many different levels to barefoot shoes, as you might know. There are some which are super, super minimalist, like the sole is barely there. Um, brands like Vivo Barefoot specialize in that type of shoe. I actually have a Vivo Barefoot Primus Light that I can't really use for extended walks just because my feet get too sore. So I figured I would need more of a barefoot style transition shoe and that's where something like the Lem's Chuka canvas comes in handy. So I got this off of Facebook Marketplace for around 130 AUD and at that time it was barely used which was a great deal. I think this retails at around 130 USD or around 200 something AUD. Let's talk about the overall construction first. So Lems claims that this has partially recycled materials, which is always a plus. It's 100% vegan. If that matters for you, then that's also a plus. This is in the middle of their foot width spectrum. So if you check on their website, and I'll display it um, right here, it's in their wide shape last. So just smack in the middle. One thing though is that they do recommend a half size up from your normal shoe size. Um, but for me, I am a US 9.5 to a US 10. This is a US 10 and it fits me perfectly. And I, again, I think the reason is that I'm just used to wearing shoes that are too long because I needed to accommodate for my wider feet and my wide little toe. Um, but for these ones, they fit just fine lengthwise, which is really good. I've never really experienced shoes that actually fit before and I'm 30 years old. So I guess there's a first time for everything. After three months of use, it's probably the shoe that I wear the most outside. I think one pro definitely is that it looks the most shoe-like. Um, I have some Vivo Barefoots, which you can see here. And for some reason, they just look like clown shoes on my feet because the, the end of the shoe is so wide. Whereas with this one, it seems a lot more straight. And it's still wide, definitely, and still gives me a lot of toe wiggle room, but the overall silhouette is just a bit more natural versus what you might find in a Vivo barefoot. I think because they're all black, they go well with anything, whether it be shorts or jeans or khakis, and they're very, very easy to style. I also like that the sole is completely flat, so I've used this as well for cycling, and it's super comfortable, and it gives me a lot of grip on the pedals, which I appreciate. This also features a removable insole. So if I do decide that I want this to be even more minimalist, then I could take this insole out. One thing to flag though is that I'm not sure if this is meant to be worn without the insole because you can still, you can see there's still some stitching in here. I haven't really worn them without insoles yet, so I don't know how comfortable or uncomfortable those will be. Um, the insoles of the Lems are quite interesting because they do have some contour on them. Um, so I'm not sure if you could fully classify this as like a proper, like fully barefoot insole, but I do know that there's some insoles that you can buy which are gonna be much more minimal than this. So that could be something that could help with transitioning into like a full barefoot shoe, like a Vivo barefoot, for example. But even, even with the insole though, it's still a very, very flexible shoe. So I could like, roll it onto itself like this, which is the hallmark of a good flexible barefoot shoe, right? Now, one thing to watch out for is this may not fit your definition of a true barefoot shoe, especially if you're more of a barefoot shoe veteran. So Lems says that while this is indeed a zero drop shoe, this does have a 10 millimeter stack height and a three millimeter insole. So all in all, that's 13 millimeters if you include the insole. And that is, probably twice as thick as something like a Vivo Barefoot Primus Light. That's why I would consider this more of a barefoot transition shoe. 
and something that if you're just a beginner moving away from traditional very well cushioned shoes this could be a very good way to get into barefoot shoes and definitely you're going to feel some instant relief on the toe box side and i've just found that this is the shoe where even though i can walk something like 10 kilometers i won't have foot pain whereas with the vivo barefoot prima slight i do have foot pain after say 30 minutes of straight walking another downside and a lot more minor but if you have pets that shed fur, this is a bit of a fur magnet. So I've tried to clean this up for the video, but I can't get every single hair off. So I'm sorry, you will just have to live with this. Another downside as well, and your mileage may vary here, but because it's a high top, you will need to wear higher cut socks. Otherwise you might be prone to blistering. I've made the mistake of wearing this with no-show socks for a long walk and I was near bleeding by the end of it. So just be careful of that. So in conclusion, I would definitely recommend a shoe like the Lambstroke Canvas if you're transitioning into barefoot shoes as a beginner. It has enough cushioning but not too much. If you're like me and you might have gone straight into Vivo barefoot and it's been a bit too painful, maybe having something like a barefoot transition shoe like this can help ease that transition and not put too much pressure on your feet. And if you want to see more barefoot shoe reviews from a regular non-athletic guy like me, let me know down in the comments as well. Thanks for watching. I'm more of a tech or minimalist reviewer, so check out my other videos on this channel if that interests you. Otherwise, I might see you in the next barefoot shoe video that I do. See ya. Bye.